Hi there, FBC Prineville, Pastor Mike here. Happy Thursday. Uh, just continuing a short series about some of the things that we're leading through as we look to the future, some of the things we're thinking through, praying through, talking through as leaders, as we look to what God has for us, for FBC, for the future. Now, we'll give you a few updates this week in regards to uh, what our plans for meeting are gonna be like in the future, but really I'm looking at things deeper here. I'm looking at what the scripture actually says about who we are as the church and the mission that God has for us. And, and we've looked at John 15, we've looked at Matthew chapter 16, and today I wanna to take a minute and just look at Romans 8. And Romans 8 tells us uh, that God is in the business of working all things for good for those who love Him and are called according to His purpose. So everything that comes into our life, it could be a virus, it could be uh, beauty and wonder and good news. It could be the gifts of God. It could be suffering. It could be death. All those things God will use for our good, he tells us in Romans 8, 28. And then he goes on to say this, for those whom he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his son in order that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. And those whom he predestined, he also called. And those whom he called, he also justified. And those whom he justified, he also glorified. And the picture here is that, that God has a project for each of us, that he's making us into his workmanship, into his creation. He began a good work in us, and he will carry it on to completion without a doubt. We can take him at his word that he is doing something good with each of us. He's also doing something good with us as a church, forming us into what he wants us to be so that he can use us in this world. And then he continues going on after he, after he tells us all those things, that he's going to conform us to his image. Everything in our life, everything that comes at us is for our good and for his glory. He goes on to say this, What then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son but gave him up for us all, how will he not with, a, with him also graciously give us all things? Who shall bring any charge against God's elect? It is God who justifies. Who is to condemn? Christ Jesus is the one who died. More than that, who was raised, who is at the right hand of God, who indeed is interceding for us. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or danger or sword? And you can throw virus in there. As it is written, for your sake we are being killed all the day long. We are regarded as sheep to be slaughtered. No, in all these things, even our suffering, even our, even our death, we are more than conquerors through Him who loved us. For I am sure that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus. And we can take that as a promise. We can take Jesus at His word that nothing will separate us from His love. Nothing will separate uh, His people from their king. Nothing will separate the sheep from the shepherd. He will hold us fast. He will hold us in his hands. We could take that as a promise into the future that God has a good work to do with us and he will do it. And anything he sends at us is for our good. So may you take comfort in that today, First Baptist Church, and hope you have a blessed day. We love you and we'll see you soon.